How do? My name is Andrew Hancock and I am a VMware technical architect from Yorkshire in the United Kingdom. I have worked with VMware since their birth in 1998. So that has been over 24 years I have been working with the VMware product catalog. Some of my close colleagues say if you cut Andy in half it reads VMware like a stick of rock from Blackpool. I have now written 134 articles and recorded 30 hours of VMware vSphere videos for Experts Exchange and received 40 Experts Exchange awards over the last 10 years working with the Experts Exchange community. I am currently the overall number one point earner in the Hall of Fame at Experts Exchange. I am honoured to have been accepted into the VMware vExpert programme since 2011 and more recently made a VMware vExpert Pro for the last three years. Hello, welcome back to another edition of Hancock's VMware Half Hour. So in today's video, what we're really going to predominantly concentrate on is VMware tools. Um, and how to install open VM tools for Linux on a VMware Linux virtual machine on a VMware vSphere hypervisor 8 or ESXi 8 host server. Uh, now I have previously written a video uh, over 12 months ago, uh, written a video, recorded a video over 12 months ago um, on this process and this was to support an article that I've written previously as well. Um, so we're going to follow that roughly um, as a template but um, here's a big but uh, when it comes to installing open VMware tools on Ubuntu desktop or Ubuntu server that well you don't have to there is nothing to do um, depending upon your distribution but certainly in the case of Ubuntu as you can see it's running and it already has a version of Ubuntu tools that we've not installed so the machine is um, VMware virtual aware and installs open VM tools for you anyway and exactly the same with Ubuntu server um, Ubuntu server is VMware aware and also installs open VM tools so there are no there is no need to install open VM tools and even if I was to um, uh, just to show you for shits and giggles uh, please don't be offended um, if I actually log on to the server and actually do a sudo apt get install open VM tools, uh, specify the sudo password, then it's actually telling me that open VM tools is set to be manually installed and it already is the newest version. That's Ubuntu server. Uh, if we have a little look at Ubuntu desktop, and again, I'm going to launch a web console to this. I'm going to log in. Thought for a moment there that I got the password wrong. Again, you know, I'm going to use the terminal because I'm old school like that. And if I do exactly the same thing, apt get install open dot tools specify the sudo password and again it's telling me that they're already installed now there is one uh, package that's not installed by default um, and that's the desktop tools but again it's already telling me that the open vm tools for desktop it's already installed so what have we learned um, there is no need, certainly with Ubuntu uh, 22, to install open VM tools or on the desk on both server and desktop, uh, or install open VM tools desktop um, on the desktop. So that's all really I've got to talk about with open uh, VM tools. Uh, so let's get a quick one there. Um, there is nothing for you to do. Certainly if you're using Ubuntu Server or Ubuntu Desktop uh, 22.04 that we've actually used in the lab, uh, there is no additional requirement for you to do anything to install open VM tools. So that was a short one. Thanks very much for watching. 
and uh, come back in the next video when we have a little look at the uh, the VMX Net3 driver um, in Windows. Uh, anyway, thanks so much for watching and goodbye.